What's up, you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Couch Lock News. I'm Emma, and I'm super excited to be talking to you guys today about the Wana gummies that just launched at Move Dispensaries here in Florida. I've tried Wana gummies before in the past when I've gone out to Colorado, and out of every edible that I tried out there that were gummies, they were hands down my favorite. So I was really excited that Move announced that they were bringing Wana to Florida so I could finally get my hands on some tasty edibles. So a little bit about Wana Brands. They were one of the first edible companies to launch in Colorado back in 2010. And the thing that makes them so unique is they're made with all natural ingredients. They're vegan, gluten-free, and they're pectin-based gummies. Now, pectin is a fruit-derived alternative to gelatin, and it's really great because it also helps the gummy maintain its consistency. So, you know, if you leave your gummies in your car in the hot Florida sun, they're not gonna melt. They're gonna maintain that shape and consistency. So it's a really great alternative in my opinion. Another thing about these gummies is they are distillate infused and they contain terpenes to help determine whether the gummies are gonna give you indica effects or sativa effects or hybrid effects or whatever you're looking for. One thing that I find curious about that is I am pretty sure that the way terpenes digest through your body, they don't pass through the liver and everything. So you really don't get that terpene effect off of edibles, especially because the THC gets converted into something else, which gives you that more like relaxed body high. So I'd like to know what you think, if terpenes make a difference for you in edibles or not, because personally, I don't think so, but they're advertised as having strain specific effects. So I guess we're gonna find out. So this is what the WANA package is going to look like. You can tell that I have not opened these yet. I picked up the blueberry indica ones because I've tried all of the flavors in the past and the blueberries are hands down my favorite. That and the mango ones, of course. Well, we're, story. we're filming. Oh shit, sorry. So these child resistant containers are able to open by pinching them on the sides and you kind of like have to pinch it really hard um, and you just pull off the top. The gummies per Florida State guidelines are wrapped up in this little baggie with a THC symbol. So you know that these are THC gummies. I kind of always have a, I don't have a hard time opening these bags cause I got it like before I could even finish my sentence. Now, one thing that's different about these gummies in comparison to the ones that they produce in other states is Florida does not allow artificial coloring in their edibles. So these are basically like a light yellow or clear color. And they have the THC symbol on those as well. These are like kind of coated and like, it's not sugar. I don't really know what it would be because they're sugar free, um, but it's coated in like this like powder, this crystal thing, which helps it from sticking together and getting all nasty in the car or in the heat or whatever. But these gummies are 10 milligrams each and you get 100 milligrams per bottle and that's only for $25, which isn't really that bad, especially if you get them with a discount or they're running a promotion, you can really get a good deal and stock up on some edibles. Now for my first taste. These taste like wana gummies, thankfully. Personally, 10 milligrams isn't enough for me to get any kind of effect off an edible. So in order to give you a true review, I'm going to eat 30 milligrams because that's kind of like my sweet dose without getting too medicated, but I'll definitely get like the effects and be calmed down, hopefully. So two more. And I'm gonna get back to you guys in about an hour, an hour and a half and let you know how I'm feeling. Two hours later. It has been probably about two hours. Hour and a half, two hours. An hour yeah. and a half, two hours um, since I ate the 30 milligrams of the Wana gummies. And I'm gonna be honest, like I was pretty high for a moment, kind of like almost, not uncomfortably, but I was definitely feeling good. I was relaxed, I was kind of like, in my mind a little bit, I was like laughing at stuff, but 
yeah, they were nice. They were really effective. Personally, I think these are probably like the most effective gummies that I've had so far from a Florida dispensary. So I'm gonna recommend that you check them out because I'm feeling really good right now and I don't have a lot of anxiety and you know, they're just 10 milligrams each. So if you're a beginner, you can easily cut them in half and get five or just try a 10. But yeah, I'm a big fan of the Wana gummies and y'all should check them out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this review of the Wana gummies from Move. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried the Wana gummies before yet, what you think of terpenes being put into edibles and subscribe to Couch Lock News if you're excited to see some more videos. More importantly, you guys, stay Couch Lock.